In the video today, learn how to take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy A23 and how to print that screenshot right after. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I wanna to walk you through how to take a screenshot on the Samsung Galaxy A23 and then how to print that screenshot. We'll walk you through that process and I'll show you how to print some other things on your phone as well. If you want to print a web page, for example, or even an email, I wanna walk you through how to do that too. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you find the video helpful at the end, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. We super appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. So taking a screenshot is super easy. Um, the method I like to use is simply holding down on the um, power and the volume down button for one second, and that will trigger a screenshot just like this. Power, volume down, hold for one second, hold, let it go, there you go. You'll see a flash, you'll get this pop-up, tap on the crop button at the bottom, and it will take you to a review so you can see what the screenshot looks like. And then you have some time to actually make some edits. So maybe you want to crop just the top of the screen here. And maybe you want to tap on this little uh, pencil here and you'd like to like write something or highlight something. Like maybe I want to draw an arrow here. I can do that, super easy. And when you're done, you can either download the picture by tapping on this down arrow or tap on the share button right here to now send it to someone. You can send it to an email, text message, or to a specific app. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna hit that download button here to save it on the phone. And next, I'm going to go to my gallery just by swiping up and looking for the gallery app. There it is. Tap on there. And you can see if I'm under the pictures tab, it should be the first one right there. If I hit the back button and I go to albums, I, I'll have a folder that's going to be set up just for screenshots, which is right here. There we go. And I can tap and look at all the screenshots I've taken. Now, guess what? I'm going to tap on this screenshot and let's say I'd like to print this screenshot now that I've taken it. What I'm going to do is tap on the three dots in the bottom right corner and you'll have an option to print right here. You're going to tap on print. Now, Here's the thing, if you'd like to print, you will need first Wi-Fi in your location where you are, and second, you'll need a printer that supports Wi-Fi. So um, as long as you have a printer that is Wi-Fi enabled and it's already set up to print uh, wirelessly, you should be good to go. All you'll need to do is tap on the uh, down arrow in the upper right corner, and you should see all the printers that are compatible with your phone in this list. Here's my printer, the Epson ET2760. I'm gonna tap on it, and now I'll see it at the top here. I'm gonna tap on the down arrow right here. It'll give you some additional options. So you can select how many copies you want, if you want it to be in color, black and white, do you want it to be double-sided? So it will give you a few different options for the print right here. And when you're ready to print, simply tap on this little print icon and that will start sending that picture to your printer. Now, a couple of things I wanna just point out. Um, I've always had the best success printing with Epson printers. Um, HP printers are usually set up for wireless if you've purchased it within the last couple of years. Um, Brother makes wireless printers as well. Uh, most companies now make wireless printers so um, you shouldn't have an issue, but I'll just say in my experience, I've had the best experience using Epson printers. So I just wanted to throw that out there. And you can find many wireless printers for Epson. Go on uh, Amazon and you can do a search for Epson Small-in-One. Those are their compact printers that uh, um, are usually really easy to set up with your Wi-Fi and they print really great from phones. So just wanna throw a quick plug for that. This isn't a sponsored video, I just wanna be real about what I've used and what has worked great for me. Now, let's hit the home button. Now that's how you print a picture, but let's say you wanna print an email. Let's go to our email app. I'm gonna to go to the Gmail app and let's just go in and just find um, any email to print. Let's say I'd like to print this uh, Google Play email. I'm gonna open the email first. Here's all the information. Let's say I'd like to send that to my printer. I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner and tap on these three dots. 
and go down the list and you'll have an option to print and you'll follow the same process. You'll hit select printer, you'll tap on the printer, it'll add it and then let's see, tap on it there and then tap on the drop down. And then you should see the little yellow printer icon in the right corner there. So that's how you print from an email. We talked about a picture. And the third thing I want to show you is how to print a web page. So let's go to the internet. Let's go to Google Chrome. And let's say you find something, maybe you're on Amazon and you find a product that you like. You're not ready to buy it, but you'd like to print out the page. Let's say I want to print out this web page so I can show it to someone to see if it's good upper right corner, tap on the three dots and go down the list. And again, we're going to look for that print option. Now in this case, it doesn't have a print option, but if I hit share, it will then, so I hit share, I'm going to swipe to the left and there's our print button right there. So it's a bit hidden in the Google Chrome app, but it's there. And so I'm going to hit print right here. And then same thing, I'm going to select the printer, the Epson, and I'm going to hit that drop down if I want to make any changes. And then you should see that yellow button that's going to pop up in the right corner that you'll be able to tap. And then you'll be able to send that print to the printer or that page to the printer. And that's it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, leave a comment down below. Let me know if it was helpful and also hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.